But have you kids ever heard of something called insurance fraud? Well, let me tell you all about it, kids. You see, uh, when you work long and hard and you kind of get bored of doing that, there is a, a way to get money, you know, that you can uh, easily do things. So, all right, let's see here. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the grand opening of the Dino Diner. Our high-tech kitchen is ready to rock, and the stakes are high as the customers are here, and they are hungry. Our first order is up. Hey, interestingly enough, steak with french fries. So let's get cooking. If you're hungry for more and want to see much, much more of a Cooking Simulator, make sure you click, tap, and devour that like button. And let me know you want to see more of this content on the channel. Get aggressive, because this is going to be awesome. And there's no reason to be salty, because we're going to probably do that to our fries, which we're making with the steak. So let's grab our salt and pepper, which are the two best things on a steak. How do you like your steak, by the way? I need to know in the comments section how you like your steak so I can cook it up for you real fresh and nice here in the Dino Diner. And again, check down below in the description for the wonderful links to our uh, merchandise store for those wonderful hoodies and t-shirts and so much more. It is awesome that so many of you guys were interested in that. So for those of you who are, the links are down there. Thanks in advance for your support, everyone. Let's get this steak cooking on the pan, and I guess we'll put it over here on the stove. And uh, apparently we have to cook this 60 seconds on each side. So let's set the timer up for 60 seconds. That's one minute, of course. And the timer is ticking. So let's get started with our uh, potatoes next. We're going to make some french fries, which, by the way, that is my favorite part of the meal. Any sort of sides you get with a steak, the steak is great. But I love all the veggies. And apparently we have a rotato potato here. This one's spinning like no tomorrow. Let's go ahead and grab our basket over here, the fryer basket. And we're going to toss all the ingredients in and get going here without delay. Let's grab our big knife here and cut these up real nice. Let's cut this first one up and see if we can uh, make them into some nice little steak fries. There we go. Shouldn't be too bad as we uh, get started with our first little inaugural meal. Oh, those are not... Oh, wow, that's interesting. It's not even cutting in the way that it should, but that's okay. Let's cut the next one. See if we can do a little better on our second cut. There we go. That's a little better. All right, it'll all turn out fine in the end. All right, let's load those into the fryer. A little tricky to do that, actually. Okay, the fryer's ready to go. Let's add these to the basket. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Getting them in there is going to be the hardest thing. Don't worry about cutting. Just loading it up is going to be an interesting attempt. Oh, boy. Oh, hold on. Steak's ready. All right, I'm coming. Ah, get out there. All right, I'll load those other ones in a second. All right, steak, hold on. All right. Looks like the steak is a little too hot to touch, so we better grab some tongs. It's too hot to handle. That's definitely my, uh, that's my, that's my high-speed name. All right, let's go ahead and... Flip it all to the other side. There we go. And let's go ahead and drop. Oh, that steak is looking nice, man. All right, 60 seconds on this one, too. All right, fantastic. Let's load up the fryer. I only missed a couple fries. Not too bad. It wasn't that bad. Well, that's going to be a nice one. There we go. All right, let's get those into the fry later. What does the fry later say? Don't forget to change the oil frequently. Oh, Phil. All right, we're going to ask Phil to fill it up, I guess. There we go. Thanks, Phil. All right, let's turn on this. 60 seconds here, too. Oh, boy, we're going to have a lot of buzzers going off in just a second. This is going to be a bad day for us. What else do we need? Uh, garnish with rosemary. Fresh. Okay, let's find some rosemary. Here's parsley. Oregano, as uh, Gordon Ramsay would say. Oh, he'd be yelling at me right now if he was watching this. Okay, let's see. Uh, drop this down over here. Let's go ahead and add that over there. Okay, uh, what else do we need? Transfer to plate. Serve hot. Oh, we need a plate. Let's grab a plate. All right. Big one should do nicely. Okay, the steak's almost up. Let's see. Ten seconds remaining. Yes, I'm so hungry. You can't turn back time. Oh, really? Uh, what can you do is move forward. Oh, wow. How symbolic. Very, very emotional right now. Okay. We've got about three seconds left. Let's go ahead and cut the timer. Ready? Go. All right. Tongs, I need you. Very good. All right, drop it on that plate. Pop, lock, and drop it. Go. Nope, that's not going to be it. Oh, it's a little misleading. It's hard to tell without a shadow where you're actually standing over the plate. Oh, perfect. All right, a little to the side, but that's good. Oh, let's throw a little uh, parsley on there. Or a little uh, oregano or whatever it is. Oh, I guess it has to go on the side. I'm coming. All right, that's ready. Okay, let's flip this off, empty the oil, and let's go load this up onto our plate. Whoa, 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 fries. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little glitchy. All right, let's see. Uh, let's off load onto the plate. I'm sure some of them are probably going to fall off. Oh, look at that one. It's stuck up in the corner. Don't you get stuck up there. Get on the plate. Come on, get on the plate. Oh, pff, weird. All right, let's go ahead and put these down. I'm going to have to grab a couple of these with the tongs. going to have to be very precise with these tongs. Okay, let's put it onto the plate. Just want to try to get all the order on there. Drop it. There we go. All right, now we need the next one. 
Just trying to load up the plate with as much of them as we can. All right, a couple fell out due to weirdness, but oh, that one looks so tasty. Let's get it for the flavor. Now, of course, most restaurants at, at other diners, they, they skimp on food. But here at the Dino Diner, we're picking it up off the floor. That's how much food we got. Now, that makes you hungry, right? <laughs> I hope so. That's, uh, oh boy, that's that's probably illegal. All right, let's see. Steak, not too bad. Rosemary, twig, potato, good. Very good. All right, let's pop this down. Hey, not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, we can take pictures? Yes, indeed. That's going to go on my Instagram. Mm, look at that. Hey, does, doesn't look too bad. I'd obviously put the uh, rosemary on the steak and then tuck uh, some of those over to the side. But that looks delicious. Let's take a screenshot of this uh, beautiful steak here. Mmm, that's wonderful. That's going out. All right, let's uh, send it out to the customer and let's see what they think. Ooh, we had 46 seconds left on the clock to do it. Taste. Four stars. Realization time. Oh, my goodness. We got a four out of five. That is good for our first job. And the client is happy. And that's most important because here at the Dino Diner, we believe in the freshest, finest ingredients. We start with 110 million percent gourmet Angus beef. Oh, wait a minute. New order. Oh, it's a different type of steak. It's a grilled tuna steak. Uh-oh. Grilled tuna, 200 grams, seasoned with salt, pepper, and uh, let's see. We also need lemon. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I also forgot to turn this off. That's a fire hazard dino. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, we need a different type of steak here. Looks like we need the tuna steak. All right, that's going to be, uh, what was it, five? Five and five. Now, obviously, if this were a real restaurant, we want to wash all that stuff. Can't stress enough how uh, food safety is very important, so make sure uh, that you always wash everything between each use, just like how you clean a, a workshop or something like that. All right, three, four, was it four or five? I can't remember now. That uh, was five. Okay, five pepper, five salt, and then we'll get this onto the uh, onto the onto the saute pan. Actually, wait, we're going to need to grill this one. So we can either put this in the grill pan or put it on the actual grill. Three, four, five. I'm going to put it actually on the grill pan. So let's do that. One of them is down here. Grill pan. We can put that onto the actual stove, and it, it's like grilling. Oops. Grab that. Put it on here. And onto the stove. We'll uh, switch these two around. 60 seconds then. I don't think... Is that enough? It's, now, the instructions say to only cook it for 60 seconds. It doesn't say anything about uh, flipping it. It doesn't say anything about cooking it again like the steak did. So that's a little misleading. See? Grilled tuna for 60 seconds. Garnish with oregano. Oregano, I guess. Where is that? Right, right there. And also we need some lemons. Okay, let's do it then. Put this over here. Get some of these things out of the way. Let's grab our big... We're going to need our big O plate here today. We're going to start with our big O plate. There we go, large plate ready. Let's grab our uh, lemon, which I think is down here. There we go. And let's get cutting. Cutting in line here. All right, that, I think now that needs to be cut into quarters. So that means uh, we need to cut that four times, right? So uh, let's grab our trusty knife. I think we're about ready, ready to run out of time here. Let's go ahead and rotate knife. Okay, that's gonna be one. Well, that's a nice cutting radius and two. That should be almost perfect. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, this thing's almost ready to go. Let's throw our uh, oregano on there, and let's bring the plate over here. Let's up. Uh, uh oh, put our lemons down. That thing's about ready to go off any second now. There it is. Well, that steak's still cold. Is that really what they wanted? That's that's what the order says. That's literally what it says. All right. I think I think we have to rotate it and actually let it cook. But according to the customer's order, they wanted it on there for only 60 seconds. I guess you can eat raw tuna. So I, I, I guess if that's what they want, that's what they get. Garnish with oregano twig, uh, lemon into slices. I did that tuna, black pepper. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we won't, uh, you know, cu customer's always right, right? All right, it's day two of cooking here at the Dino Diner. So let's literally get cooking. Everything that we leave around seems to stay where it is. So we always want to clean up our area before we're uh, starting on with the next day. But everything looks okay here. Oh, good. We got our trout again. Baked trout. All right, not a problem. We also need to buy some more recipes, too. But we'll get that done with a little bit of money. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Actually, do we have any money we can, we can spend? Let's take a look. Uh, butchery and wine. Uh, is there recipes? View and unlock recipes. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Not owned recipes. Fried shrimp. Uh, baked cod. Oh, there's some things that we can actually buy right now. Pork tenderloin with caramelized vegetables. Ooh, this one I like. Salmon with asparagus. Can I buy this one? Uh, we either need one of these points or 1,500 of the other ones. Oh, you need both. All right, looks like it's going to take a little bit of time for us to unlock some of these. Pork chops with baked potatoes. Yeah, that's going to be nice. That's going to be a real good one. All right, sorry. Let's get to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what's our order again? Yeah, the uh, trout. Okay. There it is. Do 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 do. All right, let's close that. We need uh, let's see some black pepper, some thyme, and dill for this. 
Same deal as before. Do 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 do. And then the final thing is the time. There we go. Okay, so let's season this bad boy up. We can just need uh, five of each. Oop, a little, little bit extra. That's okay. That's all good. All right, a little bit more. Two, three, four, five. Good. And then our last one. A little bit of pepper. Okay, very good. All right, let's throw it onto a baking tray. And into the oven we go for uh, two minutes. That's a pretty fast oven for to cook two minutes. Um, oops. Oh, this is one of those games with crazy physics where everything has to fall on the floor all the time. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell my boss. Actually, I'm the boss. Don't tell the government. Uh-oh. Where'd my tongs go? Where's my... Uh-oh. Tongs? Okay, we're good. Right, let's just put that on the baking tray. What is... Is the fish swimming now? Whatever, just turn it on. There we go. Okay, let's put this down before anything else happens. Two minutes. All right, let's grab ourselves the uh, lemons. Cut this into fours. And I, what was the other thing we needed? Was it oregano? Parsley. That should be right here. Oh, it was parsley. Did I put something... Oh, I must have put something else on the other dish. That's okay. It doesn't matter too much. Horseradish. After the fish comes out, we need to add a horseradish. Oh, wait. That was a different dish. Last time we cooked tuna. I'm thinking that this is the tuna. Oh, yeah. We're baking. Uh-oh. Did he escape? How did you get out of here? How did he get away? Oh, that little... How did my, my fish somehow escape? Get back in there. I sw oh man, he okay. This this guy is a tricky one. This fish is is an escape artist. How did you get out of that oven? Not this time. No escape now. It's probably because I like turned too fast. This game has some really weird physics. Get back in there. There you go. I right, reset the timer. Reset it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to two. You win this round, fish. Are right, we gonna cut some lemons? All right, now I got a knife now, everyone. Don't 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 mess with me. Okay, let's see if we can rotate, cut into fours, right? Because they want us to quarter it, so... Actually, wait, wouldn't that be like this? Oh yeah, we want some nice little lemon slices, so that way they can squeeze it under the fish. There we go. Right, let's put the knife... Put, put the knife down, sir! Alright, officer. How do things keep falling off of plates and everything else? Jeez, everything has, like, no grip in this world. No grip, no chill. Alright, let's put our lemon wedges on here. That's good enough for me. Perfect. All right. I think we can just leave these ingredients out here. We're going to be using them the most. We also need to add horseradish at the end. So parsley leaves done. Uh, let's see. Lemon quarters and then season with horseradish dried when finished. Plate with the uh, lemon quarters. How much time do we have? Two minutes, 25 seconds? Oh, good. This is plenty of time. We've got a minute left on this one. So let's throw some knives to alleviate some stress. I, I just need to... Actually, wait. Nah, there's nothing else we can buy. We just got to do more jobs in order to unlock everything. So this is a new one. All right, let's go for a bullseye. Actually, can we, uh... 501, what is this? Game game mode. Let's calm down, Nemo. You're not going nowhere. All right, let's drop them. Boom, onto the plate. Okay, now let's see, a little horseradish. Oh, how much do we garnish with? Uh, let's see, five grams. Everything's like five grams. Okay, all good. All right, now we can just... Uh, now we can just bring it over to the elevator and we're good. Let's take a little picture of it. We got a, just a few seconds. We got to take a pic. Got to snap it for that Insta. Uh, let's see. Take a green. There we go. Nice screenshot like that. You can add filters. Wow, they put more time into this than they did the, the tong system. All right, orders up. Baked trout. There it goes. All right, fantastic. Hey, hey, almost a five star. We've improved. Cooking points have uh, increased. Unhappy guest, you can reimburse him. Oh, that's not right. It says clan is happy, even though it says... Okay, that's a, that's a mixed, mass, mi mixed matched message. 
I just found out that we actually have money in the bank. We have $2,000 in our uh, personal banking account, so I'm going to go ahead and withdraw that. Look at all that money. Mmm, there we go. Now we can buy some more stuff. Apparently we can't take out loans. That tab doesn't work, but we can borrow money, so that's good. Or, I mean, uh, take out money that's in our actual bank account. All right, we got to buy some new dishes here. Which one should we buy? I was really interested in this one, but what what is that? I think we need 500 prestige to do that. So we should be able to unlock that tomorrow when we actually uh, get a little bit more skill. And then remember, if we ever have to cook tuna again, it is not grilled tuna for 60 seconds. It is grill both sides of the tuna for like 80 seconds. Otherwise, the customer going to be mad. All right. Well, we got our 300 prestige, though. Points to unlock new recipes. Oh, once we, we can spend those points, they don't come back. So it's actually spending us. It. Not like it's a minimum number. I really want that salmon with asparagus. That seems so easy. Look at the other things you can cook in this game. We've got ourselves German potato salad, salmon with asparagus, fast pumpkin soup, simple Ukrainian borscht, uh, tomato bruschetta. We've also got spaghetti, uh, aglio, oyelo, uh, pepperoncino. I don't even know what that is. Pork tenderloin with caramelized vegetables, pork chops, fried shrimp. We've got that fried scrimp over here at the Rat Pack. And uh, baked cod with a little bit of gazpacho. Mmm, all good stuff here. I'm really hungry. Don't need to change any of the appearances. Perks, I don't think we can buy any of those at the moment. Actually, we can. Let's go for a better tip. We're going to need more money, right? Oh, end of day two. And we got $11. Boy, money is coming in slow. We're going to need a little bit more cash than this. But wait a minute, we got 100 more cooking points. So we'll get more points tomorrow then. Day three in the Dino Diner, and things are going well. We've spent one of our points on uh, quality assurance, which uh, I think brings in more fame per each uh, little cooking that we do. We've got a griddle over here. I didn't even see this. It's perfect for um, like any sort of omelets or uh, maybe a, a pancake or something like that. It should be a good time. All right, let's see. we got our cutting board. Everything's ready. I think we're going to get more fish jobs than anything else. Oh, here we go. We've opened the doors. First guest should arrive shortly. All right, very good. I wonder what the first thing is that we're going to cook. We'll have to see here shortly. But I think whatever we do, let's grab ourselves a large plate. All the meals we've been preparing so far require a large plate, and that is the steak. So let's get ready then. We know exactly what we need for that. We'll grab our uh, pan over here and get ready to put that in there. And we'll grab ourselves our steak again. So let's see if we can uh, remember how to do steak without even looking at the... Uh, without even looking at the menu. So I'm not even going to touch that thing. And so we'll have to do it all by memory. All right, so first and foremost, we need the salt to go along with the pepper. So let's grab that and bring that over here. We're going to go with four grams of salt, four grams of pepper. So that should be correct. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And then we want the pepper as well. And let's shake it all around. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four. All right. So we should be able to throw this right on top of the pan. We have to flip this twice. So... Unlike the tuna, that didn't tell us. This one we know we have to do that twice. Oh, flip that on. And let's go ahead and set this on for 60 seconds, one minute. There we go. All right, time for potatoes. We need two potatoes. I don't think we can grab more than one at a time. I wish we could. You have two hands. You should be able to carry two at a time. All right, so there's uh, one potato, two potato. And then uh, let's see if we can bring over the rest of our items here. All right, our knife. And we're going to need to bring that pan over here. All right, let's uh, start cutting these things. Luckily, they're nicely lined up, so we should be able to just cut them quite easily. It'll make good enough fries, I guess, for that. Perfect. Well, that was actually pretty big, but that's okay. Potato wedges, more than just french fries. Okay, let's get our uh, little basket over here. This is always tricky, too, loading this thing up. All right, let's uh, bring our <clears throat> basket over here. Center that up. Okay, good. And let's put, uh, let's see. Oh, this is always, always a nightmare. Okay, let's uh, left click, rotate. Uh, how do we bring it down? This way? There we go. Oh, it's not... I want you to come down this way. Oh, it's, really... it's being really weird about bringing... All right, let's try it this way, then. All right, hold on. I'm on it. Yeah, that was 90% of them. Okay, let's flip the steak. Uh, let's see. Tongs. Grab our steak. Uh, rotate. There we go. Well, that was weird. Uh, it'll fry. Okay. One minute. Boy, those tongs are always a nightmare. Okay, looks like one of them just about fell out of that thing. I think, did one fall or, or anywhere? I think we got them all in there. Wow. Well, most of them anyway. It can't be all in there. That's too good to be true. All right, fill this up with oil. And she's on. Okay, 60 seconds over here as well. 
Right, so now we got our plate ready. What's oh, there's one thing I forgot. Uh I gotta just check. Rosemary is the last thing. Okay. Well we got 99% of it. I just couldn't remember what the last little thing to go on top of the steak is. And that would be our rosemary. Okay. Alright, the steak should be ready very soon. Oh, it doesn't even say how long. It's gonna be any second now, so let's get ready to let's put it. Can we hang this up? Oh. Blenders are cool though. Okay, 30 seconds, that means this one's pretty much ready. Or did I not put a thing on that? Oh, I must have forgot to set the timer. Oh, that's okay. We know it's ready. Okay, let's set this on our plate. Down you go. Oh, what, what? Wait, it's not, like, fully cooked? Um, maybe that's because of how it was thrown into the pan. That yeah, it should be fine. I don't know if that affects it. Does, does it? Does it actually have to cook, uh, touch the... In real life, it has to touch the cooking service. I'd be surprised if the developers put that in. Don't worry, I got a great way to hide that. Check this out. Perfect. There you go. No one will see it. All right. Calm down. We got it. Oh, I'll have to turn this off, too. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, last thing to go on the plate. Oh, all but one. All right, we'll get our uh, tongs out for this. All right, put that in here. Let's grab our uh, tongs, wherever they went. Pick up that last little bit of potato there. And we'll drop it on the plate. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Whoa, what? Whoa. Careful now. All right, this should be everything. Let's just send it up to the customer. Order up. It's probably not going to like it because the it's actually a little rare on one side like that. So let's see what happens. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pretty much full score on that one. Very good. And we got 400 points on that one. The client is happy. Okay, must have just been a gra graphical thing, even though we missed it. All right, let's see. Uh, not owned. Can we unlock anything else now? All right, we have 400 chef points. We need to get more. One more job, and we should be able to unlock some new food. I don't know which one I want to go for first, so I guess we'll have to see. But I guess in the meantime, let's put some of our equipment away. Put our knives back, tongs, they can go back over here. They seem to be best over near the stove. Also, I don't know how many times we can use a pan until they get dirty. Like, when do we have to do dishes? I don't think we can. I think the only thing we can do is put the bucket in here and get soap in there to clean the floor, but that's it. There's got to be a way to clean. I'm just not seeing it yet. All right, let's see if anybody else is going to order anything. In the meantime, speaking of order, so let's get a plate up. Okay. I think we're ready to dance. It's probably going to be fish again. It's going to be tuna or something. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have an opportunity now to unlock a new dish. We've got pork chops with baked potatoes or fried shrimp. And now, uh, oh boy, I think to myself, actually, wait a minute, that doesn't even look like baked potatoes. Look at that. On the left, you see the pork chop, but on the right, it just looks like someone took the pork chop and cut it up really, really small into cubes and then fried shrimp. That's al always, always good. That, that seems like a good one. Seven minutes to make that. Uh, oh, actually, we make more money from that, and we get a little bit more prestige for each time. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Shrimp, lemon, parsley. Oh, we need clar uh, clarified butter. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we can buy that. Okay. So uh, I think we've unlocked that one, haven't we? Let's see. Nope. Uh, how do we unlock this one? How do I double click, or what do you want me to do? I need it. Uh, unlock. Oh, I think we just got to push the button here. There we go. All right, we've unlocked shrimp. The ingredient can be found both in the shop and the larder. Ooh, lard. That makes me hungry. Oh, lard. <laughs> ah, sorry. Mmm. Uh, clarified butter. Okay, you're going to need some new ingredients. Okay, so let's see. We need uh, new products. Okay, so we need... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, what? There's a new... Wait, what? Oh, they sprung a, a different meal on me. Oh, I didn't know that. Grilled tuna steak. Oh, well, too late. No time for that. Oh my god, oh my god, the health inspector is here. Today is a big day. We got fried shrimp to make. We need to put everything into a pan. Oh, this is going to make or break the restaurant. It's like a critic and a health inspector all in one, so we cannot disappoint. We need to put clarified butter into a uh, pan, so let's be careful. 30 milliliters is what we need, so let's uh, F and chat, everybody, for uh, <laughs> for this meal. This is going to be interesting. All right, three, four, five, six. All right, we need to pour uh, 30. Oh, this, oh, slow it down there, champ. There we go, perfect. All right, there's 30 milliliters in a pan. We need uh, 10 grams of salt. Let's grab that. Oh, man, this is going to be very, very difficult. My most difficult job yet. All right, let's see. Four, five. All right, we need 10. There we go. Perfect. All right, what's the next thing? Uh, black pepper, 10. Okay, let's put that into the pan. All right, oh, boy. Well, we've done this a million times before, but this is a first for a health inspector. All right, one more uh, gram. There we go. Perfect. All right, what else do we need? Uh, let's see. 
120 grams of shrimp and then fry for a bunch of seconds. All right, so each one of these is worth 20, gr uh, 20 grams. So we need to put quite a few of these in here. So we got 20, 40, oh boy, <laughs> 60. We don't have to deep vein or anything. All right, let's see, 20, 40, 60, uh, 80, 100, come on. All right, one, 120. Here's the last one. All right, perfect. Everything's good. All right, let's put it onto the uh, onto the stove top. There we go. 120 seconds. That's two minutes. Okay, there we go. All right, two minutes is going. Heat's on. We're ready. Okay, let's see. Transfer into a deep plate. Serve hot. Garnish with parsley leaves. Fresh. Uh, cut lemon into quarters again. Okay. All right, let's do that. Oh, wrong door for the lemon. Okay, let's grab that. Okay, we need lemon into quarters. All right, and that's a deep plate. Let's find a deep plate. I've never used one of those before. Uh, I think it might be this one here. Uh, let's see. Large plate, deep plate. There we go. Okay, that's going to be good. All right, let's quarter this uh, lemon here. I have you now, lemon. There's no escape. All right, let's see. All right, cut it into quarters. Oh, boy, I hope this turns out okay. All right, uh, let's see. Right there and right there. Okay, perfect. No garlic or anything on this? This is kind of strange. Uh, let's see, and then uh, uh, fry, transfer into deep plate, serve hot, oh, go, parsley, we need parsley. Okay, I think that's it here. Okay, parsley's good. Oh man, this needs to be a really good meal. Uh, let's see, uh, cut lemon into quarters, done, plate up, all together. Alright, we just need to wait now. Wow, alright, is it is it looking good? Do I have to flip or anything? Nope, just seems like it needs to go for another minute. Oh wow, it actually it's actually looking decent. We don't have to cut the tails off or do anything like that. No, no deveining. Oh man, this is going to be important. Now we've upped the uh, quality of our food too, by the way, so for whatever reason, uh, they have a higher expectation, but I don't know what else we can do to make the food better. We've got all of the ingredients perfectly, the uh, sauce is in there, salt and pepper, all at, at all uh, to order, so I guess we'll see how everything goes. Uh, let's see, how much time do we have left on this bad boy? Three minutes, 46 seconds, oh my goodness! All right, I'm, all right, oh man, I'm like an impatient parent, oh come on, come on. All right, we got uh, 17 seconds left. All right, we're going to need to uh, get the tongs for this one and uh, get it out. All right, let's put it over here. All right, let's be very careful. Let's not break anything. The alarm's about to go off. All right, let's mo move, clean our work area a little bit. Get this out of here. What are you doing with this? We don't need that. All right, here we go. Alarm's going to go off. Okay, finally done. All right, let's move it over here. Oof, okay, turn that off. All right, let's get the tongs. Okay, this is big. This is our big moment. We must do good. Okay, let's uh, turn it to the side. Come on, rotate. There we go. Right onto the uh, plate. Boom. There goes one. Two. Wow, I've gotten better. I've gotten better. Three. Wow, I feel like uh, the count from Sesame Street. Four shrimp. Ah, ah. All right, five. One more. Oh, come on, pick up that last one. That's a lot of lemon to put on there, by the way. Okay, good. And then, is it the full lemon? Wait, it's 20, 20 grams. That's one full uh, lemon there. So let's drop those on top. Wait, 19 grams. 18, 19. Oh, okay. We just need the one lemon. We don't need the full thing. All right, garnish with parsley. We'll throw that on top. There we go. Is that all? Is that it? Wow, okay, we got 2 minutes and 16 seconds. They definitely uh, gave us a lot of time on that one. Let's take a screenshot in the meantime. It's a little off on that one. That one, that one's kind of hanging out, but that's okay. He's kind of a loner. All right, let's take the screenshot there. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and send this up, and let's see what happens. We're probably not going to get it perfect, but it is definitely my first time. So there we go. Hey, not too bad. Overall score. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Very, very good. Client is happy. That's what matters most. And look at that, we got a tip. We got a $3 tip. Wow, we paid 26 bucks for that. And we got 550, which means we can learn a new recipe. And we're becoming better as a chef. I think speed actually might uh, have something to do with it. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the uh, client is super happy with it. How do we get rid of this stuff? Do we just pour it down the sink? Uh, let's see, enter context. Oh, I bet I could just do this way. Um, if we, uh, let's see, rotate faucet. I, I guess that works. Oh, turn it off. Turn it off. There we go. Okay. Now, how do I uh, rot? How do I rotate this thing now? Uh, rotate. There we go. All right, nice and clean. We just washed it off. Okay, looks like we got another order in the kitchen. 
Okay, what is the next thing? It's the tuna again. Grilled tuna steak. All right, we know how to deal with this one, don't we? All right, grilled tuna steak. Uh, we're going to throw that onto the uh, cutting board there. Uh, we'll need lemon anyway. Ew, it's touching gross. Okay, let's see. Uh, we need, uh, what is it, four or five? Five. All right, five salt, five pepper. High five, buddy. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And then next is the pepper over here. Good. Black pepper is ready to rock. Two, three, four, five. Good. All right, everything's nicely seasoned. Let's get it onto the pan. All right, back in there. Wow, I can't believe we did well with it. The uh, taste inspector, that's who that was. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm really proud of myself. We did good. All right, the steak is going. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, lemon pretty much ready to go. It's actually one thing we could do is uh, basically uh, like a sous chef. As we, uh, I, was, I was putting like full lemons on there before, but each one of those is like 19 or 18 grams, you can see. So one lesson learned there. Oregano is what we need there. Oregano. Oh, man. I can already hear Gordon Ramsay yelling at me. All right, let's grab another plate. Uh, what does it say here for plates? Uh garnish that doesn't say anything about plating nothing, nothing about the the specific plate you're supposed to use all right let's go ahead and uh put this down okay we're gonna be ready here in a minute let's put our uh lemon down we're pretty close to uh, getting to the correct uh weight of what we need everything to be on well, there we go that looks nice can we like set this a little more to the side or something no it seems to put it always in the center of the plate there's no real way to pick where we put it i guess that's fine all right, we're going to have to flip this thing right about now. Where's the uh, where's the tongs? All right. Good. Okay, let's flip the tong. Uh, let's rotate. Wait, how do I rotate? There we go. All right, pick that up. Good. Wait, is that already the... Wait, that's the side that we want to cook, isn't it? Wait, it looks the same on both sides. What? Don't throw it on the ground. There we go. I think that's right. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Both sides look the same now. Okay, we uh, have one minute. One more minute. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, it says to uh, grill for two 60 seconds, but they mean both sides. We made that mistake before. Let's put some of our ingredients away that we're not going to need so they don't break. Clarified butter. We can put that up here. There we go. Basically, like, pre-melted butter. Saves a little bit of time, right? That's important. Okay, salt and pepper over here. All right, let's see if we can learn another recipe in the meantime. We've already unlocked some more, so let's do that. Let's go to, uh, let's see, recipe unlocker. We have 500, 550 points now. Not too bad. Um, we can unlock a new thing. Uh, pork chops with baked potatoes. That sounds good. I'd like to do that one. So let's go ahead and unlock that one. Yay, pork chops can now be found in the shop and in the larder. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Gordon Ramsay-looking guy. Perfect. we got 11 seconds. All right. All things are starting to be unlocked. This restaurant's doing good. The Dino Diner is kicking butt. Five, four, three, two, one. It's almost ready. Plate is good to go. And perfect. All right, let's grab this thing. Flip off the heat. Grab it off the pan. And onto the plate you go. Hopefully it turns out great. Hopefully the uh, restaurant uh, customer, the customer of the restaurant is happy. Presentation looks decent, although I would rather have tuna with something else on the side. Hopefully it turns out good. Ding, ding. Order up. Go. I wonder if uh, the speed in which we do this uh, counts as well. Ooh, taste was really bad. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. At least they didn't. Uh, client is not pleased and wants a refund. Okay, fine. Ooh, and we got more fame for that. Oh, that matters more than money. For Who cares about the money? We want the fame to unlock more recipes. It's weird. I don't know if it's at random, but cooking can be a little difficult if you don't have things directly on the pan, and it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it is. Well, I've been having a little bit of uh, second thoughts about the Dino Diner. If I think about it, we'd have to work here every day in order to earn money the honest way. And, you know, working for an honest buck is all great and everything like that. But have you kids ever heard of something called insurance fraud? Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about it, kids. You see, uh, when you work long and hard and you kind of get bored of doing that, there is a, a way to get money, you know, that you can uh, easily do things. So, all right, let's see here. I'm just going to wrap things up here for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching gonna go ahead and Daniel's actually coming to the restaurant pretty soon and he's gonna drop by in just a second so I'm gonna go ahead and blame all this on him while we uh, claim the insurance money so I want to thank you guys for dropping by for the Dino Diner here today and uh, well it's probably not gonna be around too much longer so I hope you all uh, drop by and enjoyed uh, your meals I got to get out of here kids I got to get to Tahiti for uh, secretive reasons so thank you very much for being a, uh, a member here today if you want to see more make sure you click or tap that like button and let me know let's get her up well past a thousand likes I gotta get out of here, kids. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, my name is uh, now R Rotor. Uh, I'm changing my name, changing my identity. I gotta go. You all have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.